Hello, fellow fossil hunters. For amateur paleontologists in California, crab season begins early in the year when rain does their destructive work on the road cuts and washes down some fossil material from the cliffs. Carmel Valley near Monterey Bay is a famous locality for imprints of crabs. The valley has vineyards and Garland Ranch Regional Park. When driving along the Carmel Valley Road, one would definitely notice the outcrops with light, yellowish-brown, sometimes almost white rock. But the small parallel streets with barely any traffic are a much safer place to look for fossils. As always, do not dig. Just walk and look carefully for rocks that fell down near the road. This way, you will scan more material and have a better chance of finding something. Plus, it's obviously safer and will not affect the integrity of the road cut. You just have to be mindful and minimize the impact. Make sure you know all the rules and secure the permits if required. The fossil-bearing rock formation represented by sedimentary deposits formed in calm, shallow seas during the Miocene period, approximately 8 million years ago. The rock is called dolomite. It's exceptionally light and soft. The geological formation is Monterey Shale, which is associated with oil deposits. As for the fossils, they are mostly tiny crabs called pea crabs. The name, as you can guess, is due to their small size. The pea crabs live inside of clam shells. Most of the crabs found here are called Pinixia gallaheri, but there are actually at least three species of Pinixia crabs. Two other ones are Pinixia monteriensis and Panixia myosenica. The differences between species are minute, and we did not dare to distinguish between them. So, we're going to call them Panixia sp, where sp is short for species, indicating that we can only say that they belong to the genus Panixia, but it's unclear to which particular species. A trick scientists use when the precise identification is impossible, or they are not confident in doing it. By the way, it's a pretty common situation in paleontology since, in many cases, only parts of the organisms are preserved, and those parts may not have features allowing one to tell the species apart. Other abbreviations can be used. CF, meaning confirmation required. NR, meaning near, or AFF, meaning affine. NR and AFF, used when the species identification is unclear, but it looks similar to certain species. From the information found online, and it was not verified, Panixia gallaheri has a small round body. In contrast, Panixia monteriensis is considered to be a bit larger than the other two species and more robust. Panixia myosenica is supposed to have slightly elongated body, more like an oval than a circle. In other words, if gallaheri is a pea, then myosenica is a bean. Remember that specimens of different age and sex can also have variable sizes. If you are lucky and the preservation of the specimen is good, you can try to distinguish between male and female by looking at their abdomen flaps, kind of tails, also known as an apron. Mature females carry eggs under the apron, so they usually have wide and round aprons. The males do not have to do it and their aprons are narrow. Unfortunately, we did not find the specimens with distinct differences to demonstrate. However, we did find a few claws that definitely belong to the crab species that are much larger than pea crabs. In addition to crab imprints, other fossils can be found such as imprints of shells, of bivalve mollusks or clams, fish scales, fish eggs scattered or in aggregations, sometimes even tiny fish like this piece of tail, and also imprints of leaves. Back to the crabs. The orange coloration is caused by the presence of iron oxide. Thus, we can easily call these fossils rusty crabs, I guess. By the way, similar crabs can still be found nowadays in the coastal waters of California. Thanks for watching! Until next time, keep learning about the prehistoric past of our planet. Good luck!